<laughs> Pero uh, pa, pa screen, uh, can you let me screen share? Uh, you can share. At naman tayo dito Filipino, di ba? So baka uh, tagalog na lang ako. Can share yun. screen number. Josh, could you please speak in English? I have business. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it, brother Ray. Uh, Thank okay. you so Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, where is? Uh, oh, la. Wow. <laughs> la ayon na naman. Dek, dek lang nagilag. Dek lang. Uh, si paga. Ayaw. Sa pa kita talaga yung ane niya module. <laughs> hindi, hindi dek. Nakal nagilag. Dek lang. Bala ini isip mo ah. Ah, discharge. Ayaw, ah. Discharge. Ayaw. Wala naman ng kilit. Dek lang. Ah, uh, sorry guys. Wait lang. Stop ko. Stop ko lang muna sa kilit. Ah, ayaw. Ayun. Okay. Sige. Okay. Sorry for the delays and showing off my lesson, headache lessons. <coughs> okay. Um, can you see that? Can you see that, guys? Are you able to see it? We can, we can, we can. Okay. All right. So, um, my talk for today is actually about walking with God's wisdom. So, um, you know, every, every one of us, I'm sure we all ask for God's wisdom, uh, praying for God's wisdom. But uh, what I wanted to delve in today is really, you know, what can we really understand about God's wisdom? Why do we even ask for it? Or why do we pray for it? So um, that's what I want to, sorry. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, so that's what I want to share with all of us today. So um, moving on to the first um, scriptures. So um, you know the sub question here is why do we need to ask for God's wisdom? You know it says in Proverbs chapter twenty chapter two. I'm reading in New King James Version. Um, in verse one, my son, if you receive my words and treasure my commands within you. Um, so that you incline your ear to wisdom, to apply your heart to understanding. And um, so if we read the first two verses, you know, it says here that um, it, it talks about, you know, uh, how we should listen to God. You know, when we pray, when we ask for wisdom, the first thing we need to do is be ready to listen. You know, we can't pray for wisdom. Um, sorry, my messenger is ticking. Um, yeah, um, you cannot pray for wisdom if, you know, you're not willing to listen to whatever the answer God will give to us. So that's why it says in, incline your ear to wisdom. You know, when you say incline your ear, that means um, definitely it, it, it's the same as, you know, lending your ear to God or um, uh, manifesting of what he says to you, like absorbing, absorbing what you hear. It's, it's not like, you know, um, sa Tagalog is pasok dito labas doon. Sorry, Brother Frey. It's a Tagalog phrase or I don't know. Um, yeah, but um, yeah, it's just like that. You know, God doesn't want us to listen to his words and, uh, um, you know, and take it out on the other ear. We need to really um, manifest what God says to us when it says incline your ear. And uh, moving on to verse 4, if you seek her as silver and search for her as for hidden, and then you'll understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom, from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. Um, right. He stores up sound, uh, I can't read, what? sorry. So yeah, he stores up sound wisdom for the upright. He is a shield to those who walk uprightly. So that's the use of you know God's wisdom. Why of why do we ask for it? You know, um, we basically we basically see uh, and ask of what because what is God's plan for us? What does He want us to learn? Because God knows everything. You know, God knows everything from what is inside our hearts to to you know. Um, where can we be for for us to grow or um you know just everything 
in our life. He knows it because he made it. And, you know, um, we ask for wisdom because sometimes you can get lost or you're out of options. You don't know what to do. But then if we ask for wisdom, you know, we will have God's knowledge, not like literal God's knowledge, but we will have God's understanding. And what do I mean by that is that, you know, um, you will get to understand a little more about things. Why is it happening? You know, we will get, you will get some um, more details about uh, why is this thing happening or, or what, why is this trial is in front of you? You know, um, and there comes wisdom because it gives us uh, clarity. You know, it gives us um, a lesson in life. You know, that's why when we ask for wisdom, God's wisdom, you know, we always come from, um, you know, comes from, uh, we always came upon a trial that God, God gives us so that we will learn something from it and we will have wisdom. And one good example of that is that um, the example of King Solomon, when he was, you know, when he was dealt with two women, uh, I, I'm sure all of you know the story, but uh, when he was dealing with two women and these two women, the other women stole the other woman's baby. So um, if you read the, the story, you know, um, before that happened, he was asking for God's wisdom. God asked him, what do you want, Solomon? And he said, I, I want God. I want your understanding. I want your wisdom. It came upon me, you know, and the Lord answered him because he came upon that trial that needs um, understanding, that needs um, patience, and that needed, uh, uh, you know, um, a decision, wise decision, decision making. And uh, he did that, of course, if you know the story, and he was able to tell which is telling the truth and which is telling the lies, you know. So um, uh, saying to us brothers and sisters, you know, we can say that in life, we are given many kinds of situation where we can say that, oh, I, I, I don't know how to deal with this. You know, I don't know how to approach this kind of situation. But then when we pray to the Lord, uh, the Lord gives us um, not a, you know, it's not like a, a literal dictation, but you come upon a, uh, an understanding, you know, a wisdom God's, God's understanding that he gives you through the Holy Spirit, that you will see more, uh, so you will see more about the situation, just like what I said earlier, um, about why is it happening, or you get the detailed part of the situation when you get God's understanding, and that's when God's wisdom comes through, because you learn from it as well. You learn from it, and you use it in your walk. You know, that's the use of wisdom. And and it's as he says here, you know, it is a shield. You know, he is a shield to those who walk uprightly. God himself and God's understanding is a shield for us, you know, for, for, for us who, who are walking in spirit. You know, um, we use God's wisdom to see the good and bad in, in, in things. And as we see that there's bad in these things, we try to evade them, you know. We we try to to um, not go into certain situations where you think you will be tempted, or you think you can be, uh, you can do something uh, bad, which the, the the Lord will not find it really, um, you know, good for you or good for him, you know. Um, the Holy Spirit gives us, um, you know, uh, our faith and our our wisdom is one thing that really keeps us strong in our faith and all of this is you know provided by the holy spirit when we pray you know that's that's why um i can't stress enough how much important is praying really is because it is the key to everything that we do you know it is the key to everything that we want to ask of the lord to pray you know if we want god's wisdom we need to pray for it you know but then the lesson today is, you know, why do we need to, why do we need God's wisdom? And that's it. You know, it, it's, it's really important because, um, like I said, it's a, it's a shield to us. You know, it's a shield of faith to us. So, um, yeah, moving on to next um, scriptures. 
Oh boy. Uh, sorry. I don't know how to hide this thing. <clears throat> oh, I see. Yeah, there we go. Um, sorry. Uh, okay, so. Ah, um, all right. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Um, what does God's wisdom give us? Um, you know, it says here in James chapter 3, verse 17, New, New Kingdom's version, of course, as I said it. Um, but the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceably gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. Um, and then in Proverbs chapter 8, verse 11, for wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that one may desire cannot be compared with her. So, you know, this, this scripture is, 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 obviously there's more scriptures about talking about, you know, what God's wisdom is, really is. But, you know, as we see here, God's wisdom is really, is, is, is good. It's like, it's perfect. You, can, you cannot see any flaw within it because, you know, God is perfect. He himself is perfect. And, you know, it says here that wisdom is something that is really pure and really gentle and, you know, full of mercy and good fruits. You know, when we say good fruits, it's obviously talking about um, uh, like the fruits of the spirit. Like we, we have that already. But uh, when we have wisdom, you know, we we grow more. We, we tend to... Um, Produce more produce more uh, fruits, yeah. Produ produce more fruits, and um, uh, you know, we 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 make better fruit. Uh, I don't know if you understand, but yeah, we make better fruit. Uh, you know, the quality gets better and better when we have wisdom, and when we continuously ask for wisdom, because um, God's wisdom is is really our direction in this life. Of whatever we, whatever the thing we do, and even in 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 you know in witnessing, um, and uh, sharing the word of God to other people, the wisdom comes true in everything. So, um, and then also it says here, for wisdom is better than rubies. If you don't know, rubies is a ruby is a kind of, uh, like a diamond or I, I don't know maybe like a gem, uh, but you consider it as a treasure. But it says here, wisdom is better than treasure. You know, uh, literally, wisdom is, if you translate it in, in from my understanding, um, wisdom is better than asking for physical things. That's what it says. You know, you ask for a physical thing, that's fine. But when you ask for wisdom, when you ask for God's direction, that's more valuable that's more valuable than anything that you may desire or you may uh, want to pray for you know, because uh, it's God's, it's God's wisdom. It's, it's God's understanding. And when you ask for it, you kind of have a glimpse of what he wants to say to you, of what he wants you to do. And isn't that better than anything that we ask for like a physical thing because all of those fades away. But then when we ask for wisdom, we can use it all through our life. Like when you ask it from the point that you die. Um, sorry about that. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Moving on. Sorry about that, really. All right. So here in Psalm 19, 7 to 10, you know, um, you know, why, why do we even... You know, why do we even uh, ask for God's wisdom? Why do we want it? Why do we uh, keep looking after it? You know, but if we read here, it's actually King David um, speaking. So it says here, the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing in the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. You know, um, it says here, the testimony of the Lord is sure. You know, you have nothing to, to doubt about what he says to you. Because 
it's written in the Bible that, you know, um, about many great things he, he already had done, you know, before we were born. And even, the, you know, when Jesus Christ ascended to heaven and gave the Holy Spirit, that itself is a great thing, you know, because we have that today. And, um, you know, it gives us comfort. It gives us many things, obviously, but one of them is we, it gives us insights about many things in this world, you know, um, about, you know, like I said, what can harm you and what cannot, what are the things that are good for you and what are, what is not. So, um, uh, yeah. And, um, the commandment of the Lord is pure, you know, whatever he wants, whatever the answer uh he gives to us you know we must always listen to it because it is it is a pure you know it the the commandment of the lord is pure whatever he says is true and um it says here enlightening the eyes that means when 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 you ask for wisdom and you receive it it's always with full of grace and mercy it's always full of of um you know for the betterment of yourself for the betterment of your walk with Jesus Christ, for the better, for the betterment of your walk with God, so um, yeah, and the fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. Just right there, you know, the judgments of the Lord are are true and righteous altogether. That means you know whatever He decides that He wants you to do, just do it, just do it because. Um, you know the the, the 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 lord's decision is is like i said and the lord's testimony is is sure and pure and as we can read here and then it says here finally more to be desired than they are than are they than gold yeah than much fine gold so um you know when we ask for, that's why we want to always to ask for wisdom because wisdom is is like i said it's 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 more than a treasure you know it's it's a it's a treasure that we dig up for our spiritual being not for a physical being you know uh it's wisdom you know it's wisdom that makes us understand the word of god itself you know it's it's uh the lord gives us um his answers by wisdom even 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 also with the you know when we don't understand something uh, when we read the Bible, like it's a deep, deep scripture, but uh, we pray for it, right? We pray for it so that we can understand. And by that, we are asking for wisdom. And that's what it means when we are, you know, ask, asking for wisdom. Um, moving on. Right. So Second Samuel chapter 22, verse 31. As for God, his ways is perfect. The word of the Lord is proven. He is a shield to all who trust in him. So um, another example, another, another scripture here of, you know, God's testimony of, you know, um, why we, we shouldn't, why we should never doubt about what hand answers he gives to us because he knows, you know, our, 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 our mind may say that that's, that I don't think that's good for you, but, your mind our our mind doesn't understand much you know the lord gives us answers that sometimes we may question but he knows what's best for us just what like what i said he he looks to he looks forward much more he can see much more than us than what we can see you know because he's 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 our god and he uh you no know, he created all things you know he knows when things are going to end so that's why, you know, uh, his answers are always absolute. You know, God's prayers, God's answers is always absolute. We, we must never question what God says to us. Because if we are walking by with wisdom, we will never, um, you know, we will never forsake God's answers. Rather, we would always trust him with whatever thing he says to us that he, we will always follow as a faithful servant. So I think I'm getting to my last slide. This is a very short talk, by the way, because I tried to, I was, I was doing something earlier. So yeah, um, 
final scripture. You know, the Lord is our rock. Second Samuel chapter 22, verse 47. The Lord lives. Blessed be my rock. Let the let God be exalted, the rock of my salvation. So, um, you know, it's it's basically what what it says. You know, God is the foundation of our faith. Um, God is the rock, the where we build our house, house, house unto. Sorry. Um, so yeah, and um, you know, it says. If we are, if we if we um, put God into the foundation of our life, we will never be shaken up because, like it says here, the, He's the rock of my salvation. You know, He is the foundation of uh, our salvation, and we would cease to exist if God never existed. You know, and um, uh, through the Holy Spirit. You know, we have God as our rock in our lives. So my uh, thoughts for today is really, you know, use that, use that gift that the Holy Spirit gave, gave to us. You know, the gift of wisdom. Always ask for it because, um, you know, it's, always, it's only God that knows everything. And sometimes we may lean onto our own understanding, but that's, you know, that's when we when we know that we must always ask for God's understanding, not ours, because God's wisdom is far more greater. God's wisdom, God's understanding is what we need to be successful in everything that we do in this life. And in order to be successful with our walk and our faith as well. And um, that is my thought and all the same say.